Hi, my name is Professor Dunn, and I'll be your instructor for Phi 241 Ethics for this uh, summer term. Um, first of all, I'm glad you're taking the class. Uh, I'm really excited to teach the class. I've, I've been teaching ethics for a long time, for more than 20 years. Um, my dissertation was on ethical theory, uh, and so uh, this is a this is one of my favorite classes to teach. Um, what I'd like to do in this just brief uh, few minutes is uh, say a little bit about the course content, sort of what what are some of the things we're going to be talking about, and then I want to say a few words about um, some of the resources you can have here on Canvas, some of the assignments that we'll be having, and just you know the course logistics. So I'll start with the content. Um, so the course is kind of divided into two parts. Um, half of the course will be spent on what we call ethical theories. Okay, I'll, I'll say more about this in the course commentary for week one, so you can read more about it later. But an ethical theory is sort of a systematic attempt to, dis to define what makes things right or wrong and why, right? What By virtue of what is something right or wrong? Is it a social convention, or is it by virtue of the consequences, or by by virtue of the character of the agent? Right. There's different answers that have been offered to that. So we'll be looking at several uh, of the most influential um, ethical theories, not only historically, but many many of which continue to be influential today. So we start off with relativism and uh, egoism. And then uh, later on, we look at utilitarianism, uh, Kantianism, and then eventually uh, virtue theory and religious ethics, right? Um, so again, if you're not, if you're like, what do those terms mean, right? Well, you know, we'll learn. We'll, we'll get acquainted with them soon enough. Um, that stuff is really interesting. It's a little bit more abstract. Maybe it's a little harder in some ways, but it's, it's, it serves as the foundation for the second half of the course, which is uh, sort of applied ethics, right? Or, you know, moral problems, okay? So I'm guessing that if you are if, if you had an idea of what you were doing in this class, you might've thought of like, well, I'm, I'm taking an ethics class, so I wanna talk about abortion or capital punishment or something like that. And those things are what we call applied ethics, right? Applied ethical problems. And we are gonna talk about abortion. Uh, in fact, we're gonna read several papers on abortion. Um, it's obviously a very, um, you know, newsworthy topic these days, at least abortion and the law is, right? And so I'm going to, we're not going to talk a whole lot about the law, but I, I do have a few things to say about um, Roe v. Wade and um, Dobbs and some of the other legal um, aspects of, of abortion law. But um, what we do is we uh, take these theories and we apply them to actual ethical problems. So for example, uh, we'll be looking at the question, you know, what obligations do we have to help the poor, right? Do we have any obligations? Um, uh, it, it's, it, is that something we should even be doing? Or is that something that we must be doing, right? Like, that's, is, it an, is it a strong obligation? Are we bad people for not helping poor people? Um, uh, we're going to look at our relationship with animals, right? So what ethical obligations do we have towards animals? Should we be vegetarians or even vegans, right? I mean, it's, it's given the way animals are uh treated in factory farms and in ex experimentation um is there any way to ethically justify meat eating um we'll be looking at reparations right another topic that's gotten some buzz these days right in california they're they're currently um considering some bills for paying substantial reparations um is that something we should be doing and like who should be doing it and, and why and, and you know like what if I'm not really responsible? You know, why, well, like, why should I have to pay for somebody what somebody else did? Um, that's a complicated problem, right? I think it's it's very difficult um, to figure out uh, and navigate through. So we're going to be looking at that as well. Um, and, and those are just some of the issues that uh, we'll be looking at. There are some others as well. Um, now, I hope that at least some of those things are, are of interest to you. Um, uh, they, they're fascinating things, and we're going to try to take our uh, critical analysis of these problems, you know, at a, to a higher level than you sometimes get in 
on social media, right, or in public discourse. Um, and that's so. So one of the objectives of the course is by the end of the course, we may not have settled any of these issues. Uh, we may not have determined the truth about any of these ethical problems, but um, hopefully you'll be better situated to think about them more yourself and to kind of avoid sloppy and, and poor reasoning. Um, that's already, I think, substantial progress. If we can get rid of the worst arguments or the the silliest um, sort of uh, arguments, then um, we can, you know, spend more of our time debating the more the, the more nuanced questions. Um, in terms of the course uh, requirements, if you if you look at the syllabus, you'll see everything is laid out. Like we, there's there are quizzes each a couple quizzes each week. Um, those are almost always due on Thursdays. Okay, so the idea is, you know, the, the course sort of begins on a Monday, and um, by Thursday of each week, you should have finished the readings, taken the reading quizzes, and then there's usually discussion at the end of the week. So um, we'll be having, in, in place of a classroom discussion, we'll be having a written discussion uh, where you'll be asked to comment on a prompt and then respond to some other people, right? We have a kind of a small class, at least as of today, where we have eight students. So um, that's that's pretty good. I mean, you know, it, a few more would be nice, but eight is good. Uh, it's it, it means we'll be able to get to know each other better, and we'll kind of get to be familiar with each other, and and read. You know, you'll be able to read all of the the, the posts that others write, and then and then reply to some of them. You don't have to reply to everybody. Uh, you'll see that if you look at the assignment, how the discussion uh, assignments are structured, you'll you'll see. Um, so uh, the weekly quizzes and writing assignments together uh, constitute about forty percent of the course. Uh, and then there's a two large tests, right? So a midterm and a final, and each of those are worth uh, three hundred points. So it it adds up to a thousand total. Um, and you know it's it's a lot to do in six weeks. We're covering a lot of different papers. The good news is the papers pre are pretty short, right? So most of the most of the readings are ten pages or fewer. There's a couple that are a little bit longer, um, but not not too many. Um, almost all of them are in the book, but there are a handful that are uh, not in the book. But I will provide copies for you on Canvas. If you still haven't gotten your book yet, you can. That won't. You know, I, I made copies of the first week's readings. Um, so you can get started immediately, even if you have not procured your book yet. Um, and but you really should have it in place by the end of the first week, because by the end of the second week, I, I have stopped making making uh, copies. Um, anyway, I don't want to tell you too much more. I don't want to bore you with with this intro. Um, I would just say, you know, please look over the 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 canvas module see how it's structured you see it's week by week modules everything you need for each week is in that weekly module so the readings if there are any there are study guides um there are recordings right so in place of uh lectures i have audio recordings where i answer the questions from the study guide so there's kind of a way to navigate the course and and you know you can do a lot of it yourself but certainly I would recommend listening to the audio recordings to supplement what you learn on your own. And um, I have weekly office hours twice a week. Um, we can make that more often if, if, if there's need or um, if people find the times that I, I have set up uh, 11 to 12, if those are not good times, we can consider changing it, right? I'm, I had to pick some time and I picked that, those times, but it might turn out that Afternoons are better, or or even you know five o'clock in the in the early after early evening. There we can do a lot, and uh, please just reach out to me. I'll be checking my email a lot in the first couple of weeks, um, especially in the first couple of weeks. But really, you know, every day and the, the the course is running, uh, I'll be checking my email, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And anyway, uh, I don't want to say any more. Um, looking forward to the course. I think you'll really enjoy it. And, um, you know, I look forward to meeting you either in office hours or, you know, virtually by by means of email and other exchanges. So 
Um, good luck and uh, take care. Bye-bye.